So I'm going to move on to the next topic, which is, I think my favorite topic of this segment is size. Does size matter? And when I talk about size, we're talking about the penis. How do you feel? I'm going to go with the ladies because this is a more of us thing and then we'll see what you guys think about it. But how do you feel about size, Sierra? Okay. Um, when it comes to size, I honestly think there's, there's no like um, right answer for it because every woman is different. So what might be the right size for her may not be the right size for me, mm -hmm. you know, especially like I'm a smaller person. I'm, I'm petite. So it's, it might be fun to talk about with your girls like, ah, he's so big, got a 10 inch, whatever. But like that wouldn't murder me. So that's not, a, I don't want that, you know, but for the next person, you know, you might want the 10. So there are girls <laughs> that prefer a smaller. It's not that we prefer smaller. Let's be clear. Because <laughs> you ain't going to get that for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You get I'm up. saying, oh, I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Go. There's a right size for everybody. My right size doesn't mean it's gonna be small, but yeah. it might not be like some like King Kong with her. You know what I mean? Like, so it might be a nice in between. I don't know. Just I want to be comfortable. Makes sense. So, yeah. Justine, how do you feel? I feel the same way actually. I think I think it just depends on the person. Okay. Yeah. For me, <clears throat> my personal experience, you know, is there's too big and then there's too small. A micro penis, I'm not even going to talk about it because that's sad, we have no time for that. Yeah. But I'm sorry if you're born with a micro penis. But too big is also just too big. So we're talking about mandingo, 10 inches, even nine, eight and a half. If you're like a gun size, like that's too much. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> and so there's too big and then there's too small. So we just, women, we want a happy medium. We want not itty bitty, but not we can't walk the next day. I don't know what you guys would like Man, to <laughs> Honestly, I got a question for you. What is a nice size penis to you? Like, what, what, a good Well, size? I don't do inches because I'm not American, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I was to, no, it's just, I'm not good. I would say maybe. It's a metric system, boy. Yeah, I could do just. Do y'all prefer <laughs> length or width? I, um, length. Width is too much. I can't do width. width length is just, or width, which yeah. do y'all prefer? Length. 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 Because width is just... I, you're not my baby. It has so to be a... It has to be a... <laughs> like, like, it has to, well, no. It, it has to balance out because, you know, I've seen long but skinny and it's like, that's awkward. Stupid. It feels so like a stupid. pencil yeah. stabbing me. Yeah. But then there's also... No. I've been there. But then also, like, there's, like, been too thick before and it's like a baseball beginning show. Exactly. But, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, like, I say, it really honestly depends no. on the person. It depends yeah. on the man. It honestly, honestly, I does. I got a question. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Do you rather the perfect size for yourself or more, not necessarily scaled, but, I mean, I guess sex is a scale. So, more scaled in the bedroom or size? So you know what's the saying? It's not the size of the boat, but the motion of the ocean. Exactly. Yeah. Which do y'all prefer? Ladies. That's a tough one. Someone saw, save me, help me, help me. The yeah. Of my life right now. Yeah. Can I size. Which again, you got come on. Okay, honestly, it's about the motion of the ocean because you okay. can work with size if you know what you're doing with it. That's the thing. Okay. You know how to right? use it. Because I know some people with a big penis, they don't know what to do because they're like, oh, I'm big. I don't have to try. And it's boring <laughs> sex. So at least people who don't have everything, they try like, I'm going to show her today. And it's like, thank you. So they put more work and more effort. So the motion of the ocean for me makes more sense than the sex. But you know, it's not just the sex. I'm, let me let me teach a young know, cast right quick. It's more than just the sex because before sex, you got foreplay. And honestly, if, if uh, you have a guy to go down to you, uh -huh. you know, that's, that's, that's going to, that's going to, even, even. But say, not every guy goes down though. Well, was sad for him. Because. Did I'm you hear sure. that sad yeah. for? At this because, day and age. It's like, yeah, I mean, yeah. if you grown, you grown, <laughs> you going to have to get on the knees and <laughs> do a little work. You feel me? But like, listen, like, I really feel like foreplay, it's not, it's not just about the sex or the emotion of the ocean. Like the foreplay is really what sets everything up. Like. Mm -hmm. Your foreplay, honestly, if you have a great foreplay, the sex game, I mean, sex is like, that's, that's extra. That's like dessert. The foreplay is really where, you know, everything gets started. You know, you have some great foreplay. A, a, a female can have three orgasms in foreplay. More and, than she, and she's like, oh, damn, I get sex, dude.
The foreplay, foreplay, is, foreplay yeah. is pretty big when it comes to sex, you know? Can we high five? And because that, men don't know that though. They're always like, oh, I'm men dingo, let's just do it. And it's like, hello, before counts way more than sex. But a lot of men are unaware of that. So you've just spoken so much. He touched on too. a topic that yeah. I want to I wanna kind of elaborate on a little bit more. The going down on your partner. Is it a first hookup thing, you're going down, or you're going down, or is it like you build up, is it a special hey, someone, that's... they have to have a certain attraction, <laughs> has to be boyfriend, girlfriend, how is it? Because I feel nowadays, oral sex has become way more common, you know what I mean? Like, you can hook up with someone on the first time and they'll go down on you. Back in the day, you know, it's kind of, we got to have more of a serious relationship type of thing, so, how do y'all, no, Sam, let's touch, let's get your Hello, point Sam? on Sam, how do you feel? What was the question? So if you, you 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 meet a girl out, you know y'all went on a date or two, you bring her home, y'all about to hook up for the first time. Is it a guarantee you're going down on her, or is it certain factors that play into it? It's not happening the first time. Guy, girl goes out on the first date and back to his apartment or whatever. Honestly, like she in her mind she was like, oh no, I don't want to give it up the first night. You know, I don't want to be a hoe, whatever. And let's say he starts, you know, things get a little intimate. You know, you start touching on each other, kissing or whatever, and you still have this mindset, oh, I don't want to have sex, but all of a sudden he starts kissing you and he, he starts to go down on you. That's, that's his tactic at, on like, oh, okay, if I do this, I get some, because honestly, he wants some. But if he doesn't go down on this female, he may not get none. So that's, I think that's a way, a, a oh, technique okay. of... That's you know, actually, yeah, that does make that's sense. That's because once, once, you go, yeah. once a, a guy goes down on a female, it's almost like she's obligated. She, she feels obligated. No, she doesn't. So, last question. <laughs> uh, big penis, small penis, is that a deal breaker? What if the guy is like, is a very, very good guy? He, uh, he's a stable, good job, spiritual, but at the same time, he has a micro penis. Justine like, take like, it is that, is, is that a deal breaker? Would you let a guy go because of a small penis? I think so. Damn. That's a hard yes, Sierra. <laughs> That's a yes and a yes. And I'm gonna take <laughs> yeah. it from a guy's perspective uh, with a girl. So like if a girl's not good in the bedroom, I'm sorry. But yeah, what are you just, staying for? It's, it's, it literally makes no sense. We can have that connection, but sex is also a big part yeah. of a relationship. I, we gotta be able to please each other. If it's not happening, thank you. As the psychiatrist it's said, it's about physical yeah. and sex. Like, so that's how we're gonna cheat. Yeah. And like yeah. I said, it's more than just sex. It's... Okay, thanks, Dad. We get it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much, and I appreciate you guys coming in. For today and just being open and sharing with me. Appreciate you all. And then we're gonna get ready for the next one. Ready? Stay tuned. Yeah, more coming, more coming.